this might be the best Hermes investment I have ever made. Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. If you have been following me for a while, it's going to be no surprise to you that I absolutely love and advocate for the Kelly Wallets which is a piece that has been getting quite a bit of buzz considering the recent launch of the Kelly to go which is essentially our stake on the Chanel wallet on the chain. So while I have already shared my love for these pieces in previous videos, I thought I would dedicate this video to the Kelly wallet, show you how I make them look more like a bag and also compare them to the new updated version. So if you want to find out why I find this to be an amazing Hermes investment, then please keep on watching. If you're here watching this, I'm sure you require no introduction to the Kelly bag, which is obviously one of the most iconic bags ever created by Hermes. And Hermes is one of those brands that loves to draw inspiration from past creations. And the Kelly wallet is clearly a result of that process. I mean, if you look at this, this features pretty much all the unique design elements that the Kelly bag has from the twist closure to the sangles on the side, the way it opens up and also the um, Hermes logo that's above the hardware. So obviously the inspiration is very clear when it comes to this, but I find this piece to be one of the best Hermes investments I have ever made. Actually, I think my first larger ticket purchase from Hermes was this Kelly wallet, and I definitely do not regret it. It has definitely been one of my most used pieces, and I obviously have a love for this wallet considering how many pieces I have purchased in the past. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great piece, especially when you're just starting your collection. Obviously, they're a little bit more expensive, so they will require a little bit more um, of an investment from your side. But I definitely think that they are worth the price because they're not one of those wallets that is going to be just hidden away in your bag. You're only going to take it out when you're paying because this is such a unique and well-designed piece that you can wear this out as a clutch bag. You can use this as a crossbody bag, which we'll definitely get to. You can style this with more casual outfits, but you can also take it to a formal event as a clutch bag. So I think the sky's the limit when it comes to how you can style this and make it part of an outfit. And I think it is one of the best multifaceted pieces that you can pick up from Hermes for, well, for a pretty penny. The Kelly wallet was obviously a huge hit. And since its launch, it has been redesigned and reiterated a couple of times to create new products. My favorite is still the classic Kelly wallet, which is still available in a bunch of different leathers. I have one here in Epsom with palladium hardware. And I have talked about this in the past, I believe. But the reason why I have purchased this particular color instead of going for black, which is what I would normally do, is because this one had a different color lining, which I thought was quite special. So this was my very first Kelly wallet. The next one I have purchased was one in ostrich and I absolutely love this. And then the last one that I picked up was this one in black box leather with gold hardware. And I wouldn't say that I regret purchasing it, but I wish I had picked it up in a different leather. I think I have talked about my thoughts on box leather before, but it's one of those Hermes leathers that I think really splits Hermes lovers. Some people absolutely love it. Some people cannot stand it and I happen to lean towards a group that doesn't really appreciate it. I like the fact that it's a heritage leather and it's one of the most iconic leathers that Hermes has used to create the Kelly bag. It's a leather that doesn't really work with my lifestyle. I don't like the fact that it patinas, which means that it kind of changes shade and shine over time. I don't like that it's extremely fragile. You have to be really careful. I mean, you can run your finger through it like this without having anything on your fingers and it would leave a grease mark behind, if not a scratch mark. However, it's one of those leathers that can be really, really beautifully treated by Hermes. So if you have a vintage Hermes bag or really any bag that's made of box leather, Hermes can really do wonders with their spa service. They can really get rid of even more deep scratches, but it's something that you're responsible for paying for. And there are only so many times you can get a bag treated because every single time you send it away, first of all, you have to pay for it. It's not cheap to get Hermes back serviced. And also it takes about three to six months to get a bag back, depending on where they treat it, if they can treat it locally, or if they have to send it back to Paris. But it's absolutely true that box leather can be treated beautifully. But at the end of the day, do I regret buying it? 
I'm kind of torn because on one hand, I'm glad that I have a piece in this iconic heritage leather because I'll never buy a bag in this. On the other hand, I could have bought something that I would use on a more regular basis, like this wallet in Epsom or Goatskin, but I already have it, so I'm going to enjoy it. But as you guys can see, I'm clearly a fan of the classic Kelly wallet. And let's talk about price pretty quick. The starting price of the Kelly wallet is $3,550, which is the price for the Epsom version, which is the cheapest one that you can pick up. Personally, it's my absolute favorite. And then the price slightly sneaks up depending on the leather. So if you buy it in goods, it's a little bit more expensive. Box is going to be more expensive. I think by $300. I think it's about $300 more expensive. And obviously the price uh, skyrockets when it comes to exotic pieces. I think their most expensive one is nearly $15,000 for alligator. So you have plenty of options when it comes to leathers and colors. The Kelly wallet is widely available in different colors. You can even buy them online, which I personally wouldn't recommend that you do. You guys know I always say that you should go to the store and start building a relationship with an essay because that's what the brand is all about. And I think a Kelly wallet is a great starter piece. If you're happy to invest, obviously almost $4,000 into one of these, but um, I personally really think that it's worth the investment. The Kelly wallet is also available in size medium, which is quite different from the regular Kelly wallet. It's first of all smaller and the way it opens is also quite different. So the way you open this up is that obviously you open the twist closure and then on the inside you have four compartments. So you have a really small compartment in the front, a small compartment in the back, which I personally mainly use for receipts. Then you have two larger slots here and here, which is for bills. And then you have 12 slots for credit cards and a pocket right here where you can obviously keep coins or keys or lipstick or whatever you want. But um, this is what the Kelly Wallet, the classic version looks like. And then the medium version opens up, um, whereas the Kelly wallet in the medium size, you almost unravel, it kind of folds out. I'll put a picture up here. It essentially just folds out into three different parts, which you might enjoy. I personally find it a little bit hard to use and I don't really like the size. It doesn't make that big of a difference. And considering the price, I think it's about like $30 less expensive than the regular Kelly wallet. So. I personally would always go for the classic version, but the medium is also an option. And there is another reiteration of the Kelly wallet, which I have an entire video on, which I'm going to have linked up here. I think it was the very first unboxing I did on my channel, but um, it's a piece that I absolutely love and it has definitely become one of my most used pieces, which is the Kelly pocket. It's, I wouldn't say comparable to an actual wallet, but it's still a piece that I love. And if you don't want to invest nearly $4,000 into one of these wallets, then this is really a good place to start. So I highly recommend that you check out that video because I talk about this in depth, but I still wanted to mention this considering that we are taking a deep dive into the world of Kelly wallets. Now let's talk about the differences between the Kelly to go and the original classic Kelly wallet. Obviously the main difference is the fact that the Kelly to go comes with these metal studs embedded on the inside that you can attach a strap to a really thin leather strap that comes with the Kelly wallet. It's actually removable, so you can decide to wear it as a crossbody bag one day, but then you can easily remove the strap and just use it as a regular wallet on a daily basis, which is obviously a really practical way of turning a wallet into a crossbody bag. But there are so many other more fun and creative ways on how you can style this as a crossbody bag, which I promise to show you. So it's obviously an advantage in case you know you're going to wear it strictly as a crossbody bag but I promise to show you how you can style it as a crossbody bag if you just have the classic version. But there are also a couple of differences when it comes to the structure of the bag. Well, not bad wallet. So if you look on the inside, as I mentioned, this uh, wallet has 12 card slots, which I think is a decent amount, but these are actually quite flexible. So if you want to put two cards in a slot, if you have that many cards, you can easily do that with this. Whereas the Kelly to go only comes with four card slots on the inside, which I think a lot of people would have issues with. And then as far as I know, the Kelly to go doesn't come with these additional slots in the back and in the front, which are perfect to store receipts. So there are quite a few differences. And when it comes to price, the Kelly to go obviously is going to be a little bit more expensive, 
So the price of the Kelly to go wallet in Epsom is $4,175, whereas the price of Kelly wallet in Epsom is $3,550. So you're paying about $625 more for the to go, which obviously comes with an additional strap. So it might be worth it for you if you know that you're strictly going to use it as a crossbody bag, it might be a good investment. However, let me show you how you can turn these into a crossbody bag. If you guys can see the lighting change, I apologize. There is a proper thunderstorm going on outside. So if you hear any background noises or if the lighting is changing, it's because of that. But um, while I'm interrupting this video, I wanted to let you know that I'm planning on filming a luxury Q&A in the next few weeks. So if you have any questions to me about anything luxury related, whether it's about my personal luxury journey or if it's about yours, then please make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up and maybe leave like a letter Q next to your question just so I know that you'd want me to address them in the Q&A video and um, I'm planning on filming that in the next few weeks because I thought that it would be fun if we could just talk about your specific questions. So let me know if that's something that would be interesting to you. But let's get back to the video about the Kelly wallet. So let's talk about how I usually make my Kelly wallets into more of an actual bag. I'll show you how you can turn them into more of a clutch bag or more of a pochette style bag, or also how you can turn them into a crossbody bag. So let's talk about the first tip that I have, which is if you want to wear this bag, either as a crossbody bag or more like as, almost as a, cut, a Kelly cut or a Kelly pochette, which is by using an Hermes Twilly. Now I don't have an actual Hermes Twilly because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan. It's not really something that suits my style, but I do have this little Kelly so-called spaghetti that I got at an Hermes event. So I thought that I would use this. Please try to imagine that this is an actual Twilly, even though it's not, but the, everything that I will show you is something that you could do with an actual Twilly. So if you have a regular size Twilly, it's going to be about this length, might be a little bit longer, which is the perfect length to make the, the Kelly wallet look more like um, an actual handbag. So what I would recommend that you do is that you open up the flap like this, put the Twilly underneath it. Well, I'm gonna put my Twilly spaghetti underneath it. And then essentially just tie a bow on top. There is no doubt it's going to look much nicer if you use an actual Twilly, but I guess I'll have to do with this for now. So you can put either the bow on the top, and I think it looks really nice if you put the bow on the side, if you like more of like a fun and kind of girly look to it. But you can also put the bow on the inside in case you want to put the emphasis on the pattern of the Twilly and just the little um, wallet itself, if in case you don't want to distract with that bow. You can do it either way. And I think it's a really fun way of accessorizing your Kelly wallet and making it look more like an actual bag. Now, if you want to use a Twilly to make this bag into a crossbody bag, it's also an option. But what I would recommend that you do is that you buy one of the Maxi Twillies, which is essentially the same thing as a Twilly, but it's much, much longer. So you would use the same technique. Uh, you can either tie it on the inside or the outside but the Twilly that you get on the outside is going to be much, much longer, which means that it gives you enough length to either put it around one of your shoulders or wear it completely as a crossbody bag. If you're going to put it on as a crossbody bag, I would recommend that you tie it either on the outside or on the inside a couple of times just to make sure that it's really secure. But uh, it's also a really fun way of making this look like a crossbody bag or more like an actual bag. And if you walk into an Hermes store with a Kelly wallet, with a Twilly on it, there are going to be no questions asked about whether you're an actual Hermes lover or not. The next tip that I have, I think might be even easier than the Twilly because I think most people would have enough things already in their collections to do this. But the next thing that I wanted to tell you is that you can use an actual leather bracelet to attach it to a Kelly wallet as a little strap or even as a handle. And if you are a fan of mini bags, then look no further because this is the cutest thing that you'll ever see. This is my Kelly um, pocket that I added my Be Happy double tour bracelet onto, which looks absolutely adorable. If you like Jacquemus bags or if you liked the little Kelly back charm that Hermes came out with, 
which by the way, I absolutely loved and I really, really wanted to add it to my collection, but my store only got it in red. I don't think they ever got it in black. So I was not going to pick it up in red for sure. But anyway, if you like either one of those, then I think this is such a cute way of styling this bag. And it's definitely much more reasonably priced than the Kelly bag charm. Obviously it's a little bit more expensive than the Jacquemus bag, but you're getting a Kelly piece that you can add a uh, strap to just like this. You can also put this on the inside, but I actually quite like how it's on the outside. If I was going to wear it like this, maybe I would um, buy the double tour with silver hardware. So it would match the um, hardware on the actual piece. But I think this looks absolutely adorable and you can play around with it. You can maybe put the Be Happy on the side so you can see the branding on this as well. And if you're just starting out your collection with Hermes and you love the whole mini back trend, this is an amazing place to start. But you can also use this Be Happy bracelet on the actual Kelly wallet. However, you would probably want to buy it in the uh, longer version, the one that goes around your wrist a couple more times than just two. Because I think this, yeah, this definitely would be a little bit too short to use it on a Kelly wallet, but you can definitely buy it in the longer version, the one that goes around your wrist a few more times and uh, use that as a strap or as a handle for your bag. The next tip that I have is one that has been around for a long time. It's definitely not one that I came up with and it's using one of the Hermes silver necklaces to add to either a Kelly wallet where I think mainly people add it to their Kelly pochette. The one that most people use is the Ferrandol uh, necklace, which is an iconic design by Hermes. They use the Shandong pattern to create that, which is one that people often add to their Kelly pochettes, their Kelly cuts. And obviously you can do the same with the Kelly wallet. All you would do is essentially open up the bag and put the Ferrandol necklace right underneath the flap and then close it. One thing that I have to warn you of is that, that the Ferrandol necklace, because it's made of actual chain, it might damage the paint on the outside, just like anything. Even the Kelly to go wallet has the little metal piece on the side. So even that might uh, affect how the paint on the side is going to wear. So if you're someone who's really picky about this particular part of your bag, you really want to be careful with everything because obviously none of these things are actually designed to go on your bag. But if you're not going to put anything heavy in there, as you guys can see, there is really nothing that's ever happened to the side of any of my Kelly wallets. Although I have never used the Ferrandol necklace on these. But in case you like the chain look, a similar look that Chanel bags have, then you can definitely use the Ferrandol necklace or another silver necklace from Hermes or from any other brand, even maybe something that's already in your collection to add it to the Kelly wallet. So either use it as a crossbody bag or also just more like a little handbag. If I was to buy a chain, I would personally buy the Kelly chain, which I'm going to put a picture of up here. It's a beautiful design that features the little Kelly lock with the key. I think it's quite creative and very Hermes without going overboard. So if I liked the chain look, which personally is not really my style, then I would definitely go for the Kelly necklace. But that's also something that you can do with these. But warning from me, and I'm not sure if it's a warning from RMS, but it might speed up how the paint wears on the side. So you want to be careful with that. But it's interesting that the Kelly to go wallet also has a little metal piece that is going to rub against the paint on the side. So I guess it's a price that you have to pay for being creative. And the last tip that I have for you is using an actual belt. The one that I have here is the Kelly belt to style your Kelly wallet to look more like an actual handbag. The one downside to this belt is that it's not long enough to make this an actual crossbody bag. And it's also a little bit thicker, but it doesn't really look too bulky or too heavy. There are, however, thinner belts that RMS makes that you can put onto the Kelly wallet. Uh, make sure to leave the name of some belts down in the description box, but you can pick up thinner straps. But I think this looks absolutely incredible, especially because it just makes it look so cohesive considering that it has the same hardware closure on the belt that it has on the front of the bag. Obviously you can either choose to match the metals or you can use different metals like I did here. I used palladium with yellow gold, but if you are going to wear it as an actual bag, you can easily buy a belt in the same color or reuse one from your existing collection. 
but I really think it's a really cool and fun way of doing it, especially if you're going to use it more like a handbag and you don't need to put it crossbody. And also because the leather is a little bit softer than metal would be, it's not going to be as damaging to the side of your Kelly wallet as a metal piece like a chain would be. So these are all my tips and tricks on how you can make a classic Kelly wallet look more like a handbag. I personally would go for any one of these over the Kelly to go. I personally don't think that the way the Kelly to go is constructed is very aesthetically pleasing. I think the wallet itself is a little bit too boxy and rigid to look good with that really, really thin strap that it comes with. So unless you know that you're primarily going to wear that wallet as a crossbody bag, I would personally recommend that you just go for any one of these. And if you want to make it look more like a bag, you perhaps add a twilly to it or maybe a leather bracelet. The only thing that I would be careful with is the side of the wallet because obviously these were not meant to be worn as a bag. So just keep an eye out if you want to be really careful, maybe start with a twilly because it's such a soft fabric. I don't think it would really damage the sides and maybe work your way up to a metal piece like a chain. But I think all of these are just such a fun, creative and interesting way of playing around with this piece. And the only limit is really your creativity, so you can do whatever you want with these. But as I mentioned, just make sure that you're careful with the painting on the side. And this is it guys, this completes my video on the Kelly wallet. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found my tips helpful. Please let me know in the comment section down below if there are any tips that I missed, if you have any special tricks that you would want to share with us on how you style the Kelly wallet. And if you like this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.